as I alluded to, as I was rudely cut off to take a break, <laughs> we're going to move on to the Jaguars. We are going to talk about how dis- we've said it multiple times already, how disrespectful we think the 115 Marquise Lee ADP is. It's the cheapest money in the whole draft, man. Was that, <laughs> that was a that's decent Scarface right there, I think. <laughs> So as far as the, obviously maybe Marquise Lee isn't on the Jaguars next year, but Westbrook is at 119, Lee's at 115, and Keelan Cole's at 151. Let's start at Marquise Lee, and let's talk about the disrespect here that 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 you guys believe. I mean, I think he should be up by Josh Doxson. When we t- we talked about him on the last show, we were like, yeah, oh, this is an, an ugly spot here to right. be drafting players. Like Marquise Lee is a reliable asset have you not been watching football and i think what? any team he goes to it'll it'll be a nice treat for them i don't think he's going to be retained by the jaguars so what, what do you got over there well mark Eastley, his numbers don't jump off the page but uh he was first of all he had blake bortles throwing him the ball and and a pound it all day long type offensive scheme you know that that's what they're going for they bring in the and First. God bless him, he was the number one. Like, just let him be the two. Yeah, let him be the two. Get well. He wasn't supposed to be the number That's one. That's what I'm Alan saying. Robinson but he blew was his knee la- out. But you know, yeah. last year, you a know. Rob's supposed to be, you know, t- t- tearing the defense up, and Lee's going to be killing them with crossers. All of, that's what he does. Like Marquise Lee, he he had a strong finish to the season in 2016. I said, and and a Rob was on the field, and I obviously. There's a big disconnect there between Bortles and and Allen Robinson, and I said it looked like it looked like to me Marquise Lee was the best wide receiver they had down the stretch, and he comes out this year in 2017, and it, you know fairly consistent, fairly consistent. There's some lower games in there, but it, everybody had he was lower banged games. up and on, he, he had just playing through injury the he whole was playing time. Through some but that's injuries. what you like to see because he was well, kind of it, an injury prone guy, and it's nice to see him play through those injuries. This is true. I'd love to see him playing tough. You know, you got a streak there where he's like five for 83, four for 72, eight for 75 and a touch, six for 55 and a touch. You know, it just. Five for forty-five, bad. Then a bad game. Seven for eighty-six and a touch. And that's like, against your best corner, man. That's well, that even... one. Well, a, a best corner all year long. And then the one for thirteen, he goes to Arizona and plays against Patrick Peterson. Right. But and but that's the thing about Marquise Lee, like the savvy fantasy football player. I sit him when he goes on the on the road. We sit him down and don't play him when you in the team that Steve uh, that Casey and I have together. Like we don't play him on the road against Arizona. Next week at home against the Colts, we plug him back in there. He gets you seven for eighty six and a touch. You just got to be smart about how you do some of this stuff. He's not your wide receiver one on your team, so it's not like you play. It's not freaking Antonio Brown where you never take him out of your lineup. But at a hundred and fifteen in the ADP, I believe this guy is, is. I think he's too cheap. I mean, if then now the farther we get along into these is Jags wide receivers. If some things fall, the Bortles has been re-signed. If they bring back Allen Robinson and with the emergence of the two younger guys we're going to start talking about here and the fact that they're going to pound the rock and that's how they roll, maybe Marquise Lee is a little less dependable next year because there's a lot of mouths to feed all of a sudden in a team. I mean, a, I don't a, think he's a, coming he's back. Not, he's not right. coming back. Okay, all right. So Ray ain't coming a, home. Ray ain't coming home. On a team that wants to run the ball. If she they, expects him home any minute. <laughs> if, they, if they bring <laughs> him back. Said, they bring him back like that. I don't. I I love Marquis Lee going somewhere else. Absolutely, yeah, no, for sure. All in on Marquis. I think Lee. I think he's a solid two somewhere else, and excited about seeing him for go sure. somewhere else. Absolutely, I think this is a. Again, ya. I'm with you. A little bit of a disrespectful 115. Give me all the Marquis Lee. If this is how people value him, I'm trading for him. Yep. Yeah. All day long. Yeah. All day. All right. All, all day. All day. All day. Son. All day. 